So that wasn't very climactic. It's kind of anticlimactic. Oh, and there it was, the good one. All right, hello and welcome back, guys. This is the Siberian here. Welcome to 2022. Happy New Year. I hope it went well for everyone. I haven't uploaded in a couple of weeks because of Christmas and the New Year and just busyness in general. So I thought I would continue our Denmark campaign. Um, what happened off screen was after like two more battles of Hanover, the French finally took it just by sheer weight of numbers. Like these are a lot of very large stacks. So I retreated back, built a fort, and then managed to broker a peace with them. So I'm not actually sure if they're still at war with Poland-Lithuania, but Poland-Lithuania's got quite a bit of territory that's pretty rich, so hopefully they should be able to stand up against anyone. Oh, they're just at war with the Marthas, just like me. Well, I actually just brokered a peace with the Marthas. After taking this town right here, managed to sneak it, capture it real quick. Uh, in the, I'm still at war with Spain, and so I think the next bit of plan will be to do a uh, Italian campaign. So I think I'm gonna take this as a base of operations and then move through Italy from north to south. Um, real quick about this, this is probably gonna be the last Denmark campaign for a video for a while uh, just because I'm gonna be working on doing more like tutorials and I have the documentary about a third of the way done um, so I'm just gonna try and crank that out and finish it also the next version of the mod is almost complete so that should be going up in the next couple of weeks so hopefully you guys can check it out after the Saxon update I'm not gonna update for a little while just to let that version sit uh, and get some other things done because I have school and whatnot going on so I'll still work away at it don't worry just slower anyways uh, we're gonna go ahead and dive right in to a little oh well I guess it'll be in a couple of turns we're gonna take this in, uh, Sardinia from the Spanish as our base of operations and the battle for Sardinia is kicking off. We have caught them just outside the edge of town, and I'm sending in the grenadiers first. We got one wave of grenadiers with some hunters here as well. We're now going to retire. And our grenadiers are making the line, preparing to fire. Get you guys angled. So you can see the new smoke. I tried to model it after Napoleon with the flowing large uh, plumes. Semi random feel. We are definitely winning that engagement over there. Oh, I thought that was smoke for a second. So I have a whole nother wave of my regular line infantry. And then some more cavalry and some huge siege guns. that can bombard all the way across the map. Cavalry taking the town. Marching through it. To right there where we can get around the flank. The Norwegians pouring in a good fire. I think we drove back that group there. That we're gonna advance this left flank. Oh, that's what we want to avoid. Eichmann. All right, we got to make a nice little V shape. They're being quite defensive. 
That's okay. That makes sense. They're on the defense. So, oh, artillery. This artillery is not very accurate, especially at long range. So, I'm not expecting that much from it, but it's a little morale. Takes away some of their morale. Nice. Oh, they charged. Counter charge. Luckily, these are all grenadiers, so they should be decently good at melee. Yeah, and we're winning. You guys keep pushing that flank. Nice. Alright, Frenchmen are forming up. Almost seen off these pikemen after their melee. Still got our huge amount of reserves, so this should be a piece of cake. I got more Eichmann coming in on the flank. Maybe we'll have to send up some cav that can shoot at him. Speaking of that, where's these guys? Whoa. A little excessive running away, don't you think? Grenadiers are still winning, but it's an unfortunate loss of time. Let's see if we can't do some aggressive pushing here. See them off. Oh, we did see that one off. Alright. While the grenadiers charge, we're gonna rush forward some Norwegians. Ready? Beautiful. Alright, keep it going. You guys keep advancing. And I think that will be our battle just about. A hint of resistance left, but I don't think it'll come to much. <coughs> use me. Okay, use me. Alright, you guys. Shoot at them. Alright, we broke that. Let's get the Norwegians. You guys can give them the cold steel. While you guys continue marching, give them the cold steel. Oh, and there we go. Victory is ours. And a truly crushing victory. Beautiful thing. Grenadiers taking the top. Of course, they had the most. Oh, did my gun get any kills? Lost zero. Killed 71. Uh, it might have also been like auto calculated at the end. Sometimes it does that. All right, so now from our base in Sardinia. Oh, it's Catholic, though. That's a bummer. I don't have a mi missionary. 
What do we got here? We got wine and silver. Oh, we need a trading port. I have a powerful enough navy. Nobody's really challenging it, so. All right, from here, though, as we stabilize this, we're going to um, build up, or we're going to launch our invasion of Italy. Should we go from south to north or north to south? I mean, the allies in World War II did it this way. They, but there's no reason to land here. Sicily doesn't have its own town. So, I think I'll go north to south. Switch things up a little bit, you know? Anyways, I'll make a cut until the next bit of action. And of course, the power-hungry Anne Elizabeth II is declaring war on us again. Let's see who joins us. Alright, Poland-Lithuania didn't. That's a big loss. But, looks like we're going to have to re-institute a blockade of France. It's really, my only hope is an economic victory. Okay, United Provinces, we'll go for that. I think economically, if I can starve France out of its colonies, then it will be not able to field endless stacks of massive army so that's my plan we'll see how it works though all right I have noticed a massive army of France on two little ships so if they make it from their harbor I'm gonna send this fleet down to snipe them Ooh. well we got the money let's do it we are making like 7,000 turn what is our tax rate all the way down. That's good. Sardinia is none too happy with our occupation as of now. But they'll just have to get used to it. Alright. Let's start destroying some ports along here. In fact, I'm just going to go back and forth between these two. Weaken them as much as possible. Cost them more money. And... Should have some guys that can start sabotaging. Where's some... Is this guy... Nope. One of these has a... General, right? Yeah. Kill him. Nice. Alright. That's good. Man, they got a lot of priests. I don't like that. Um, let's send this one in here what can we kill let's see I think if we kill some of their seminaries they won't be so happy from religion because that's their biggest thing countering their clamor of reform we might get them to re revolt if we put enough economic pressure as well so that's the plan we'll see all right so i hadn't been tracking my my government for a little bit figured they would just be good and most of them are but Torolf Bornholtz my chief minister is killing me look at killing our town wealth per turn in our home theater re diplomatic relations and prestige because he's just a terrible guy look uses his fingers for inappropriate things nose picking not only his own nose Wow, okay. Um, he's a sportsman, born in the saddle with a hunter's keen eye. This man merely follows his natural inclination, so he's never doing his actual job. He's salacious, morally impaired, and is only a believer in name, so he's gonna get the boot. Yeah, I'm constitutional, so I just boot him. So hopefully that will make us have a little better... Uh, people have a better opinion of us around the world now let's I did manage to raid this but I couldn't get all the way uh, I, I damaged that port and then raided so we're just gonna keep at this for a little bit nice all the way damaged really the one I gotta damage is this so I gotta send a spy right here 
Oh, he can almost make it. Uh, he was going to destroy that, but maybe this one will. Sabotage. Oh. A little lag there. Probably because I'm recording and playing. Nice. Good job, buddy. Alright. Well, I'm going to go ahead and hit the end turn. We'll be back with actual action, hopefully. Alright, you all know how bad of a sailor I am in this game, but we have an opportunity to capture potentially a second-rate ship of the line, uh, which is huge. We can't even build them yet. It's got 84 guns, but we have a bunch of uh, fourth rates and a galleon. So I think just with our numbers we can do it. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. So we'll jump into this naval battle. All right, the first volleys of this naval engagement are beginning and don't know who is winning, but I'm just going to set all my main ships to attack. And hopefully, given time, they will do some damage on this thing. Uh-oh. Why are you turning like that? Oh, gosh. I didn't lose any cannons or any people. Wow. That was handy. They've lost one cannon and three people. Still only one cannon. That's a bummer, but... It is what it is. Um, how is this thing going faster than our tiny little ship? I don't get it. How do they do that? Alright, well, let's hope you can switch sides so your hull doesn't get too damaged on one side. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Yeah, losing people now and cannons. They can respond though, right? Yeah, good broadside. Let's combat even, so let's get you to go right there. My ships are so dumb. The AI control of ships in this game, absolutely abysmal. All you got to do is face next to him. Oh, come on. There you go. They're down to 70 guns. That's a good start. All right, you guys just go here. And quickly, you go here. You go here. I just need my ships to shoot. Because right now I'm like, this fourth rate is taking on their second rate. And being damaged, what, what ship is this? This one? Hmm. Maybe it'll be all right. All right, let's get it. Come on, turn. Get some good... No way do you stop turning. Well, that was a good volley. All right, you're turning this way now. Because this game is idiotic sometimes. That was a good volley. They're wavering. All right, come on. And there we go, we've done it. And I think because we have them surrounded, it'll give them to us, let's see. Lame, it says we sank him, we didn't sink him. Whatever game. All right, well, 
still a victory. Took out a second rate. I'm gonna have to get me one of those though. I'm building it next to the dry dock or whatever it is that can build them. So we might need that or else France might actually start challenging us on the waters. Well, we'll see. All right, here is the climactic battle of our time. The French with an initial wave of 5,000 with endless, literally endless numbers are attacking our little wooden fort guarding our home. And we just have one reinforcement. We have less than 4,000, no, a little over 4,000, just barely. This is absolutely going to be a close thing. The one advantage I have is time. That's our one hope. But we're going to go ahead and without further ado, jump into the battle for Denmark. Or, or where are we? Where is this? Right outside that little farm. I don't know. I will find the location. And this is that battle of that place. All right. And it begins with a huge artillery barrage. Our walls are already damaged. Oh no, maybe not. Yeah, no, our walls are still good as of now. But man, the instant I hit play, things were just going crazy. All right, you guys need to get inside quickly. I did set up some artillery outside. Zero, eight percent, a little damage there. That one's up to 17 now. Man, just so much artillery and chaos in general. I honestly don't know if we'll be able to hold against this much artillery. That might be the issue here. Oh man, and the gate is just so slow to let our troops in. Six percent up to 18 18 is still our highest though oh man this is just hectic they're just charging right in hopefully though we can get a little breather after we get some oh gosh come on get inside the walls all right, artillery. That is super freaking annoying. All right, grenadiers. Go for it. You grenadiers stay out here, in here. You two, charge. Oh gosh, it's just... Alright. Wow, okay. <laughs> this is crazy. They're just swarming. Alright, we're gonna hit it back into play. Oh, I forgot about... I was getting reserves. This could actually be very helpful as these are some good troops and I can use them to take out some artillery or something. If I can hold on to the fort. Nope, don't do that. Why are you running forward? Artillery is absolutely tearing through enemy troops there we go I'm gonna actually just go here come on guys shoot the dangerous part will be when they break down our fort walls I'm actually gonna send some more troops down here Just need one or two units to route, and that'll cause a bit of a chain route. Oh man, my computer is lagging. Back to slow mo. 
Alright, my artillery that I foolishly placed outside is... Died. It did nothing. I thought I could get my troops back inside, but they bum-rushed me. Troops are on the walls, firing down. Oh. And just... Okay, let's check the conditions of the walls. We got 0%. Come on. You know it's bad when you can't even select the walls because there's so many troops on them. 43, 46, 0, and 18. Also, you guys need to not fire at will. Where's all this artillery? They got a ton of guns. And that ridge too. Um, let's send the first two of our reinforcements, right? That's the first. Let's send these two. Up, see if we can take out some artillery. You know, at this point, Almost might be worth getting these guys to jog, well, run, and then set up. Because if we could get some flanking fire on these guys and then charge them in the flank, I think we could break them and just cause a huge slaughter. 55 now, 43. They're definitely targeting this corner. Probably targeting the troops that are on the ground. 65. Yikes. All right. Pull back. You're not doing much anyways. They're not breaking. They're just... Actually, you guys can go up here. You guys start forming up earlier, actually. Yikes, if this does go bad, I'm gonna need this one in place to plug the gap. Are these guys wiped out yet? Nope, they're still fighting. Oh man, just look at the dead. All right, our troops are getting formed up. And over here, oh, cavalry. Get you guys into position. Both have the less effective square formation, that's good. Where we at? 90%, all right, that corner's about to fall. Guys, like that, why not? I really don't think they're gonna take the gate though. 98, any second now. There it goes. Can you get in this way? Maybe not. Maybe the corner you can't get in. That would be super nice. Not gonna lie. Oh. Oh. Square formation. Let's keep these guys moving on the artillery. And you guys keep moving on the the gate. All right, we should be able to hold these guys off. Yeah, we took some initial losses on the charge, but those squares should hold on all right. Well, 
If there's no way in, oh, there is a way in. Yeah, right there. They just don't want to use it. Well, I'm going to set these guys up like that. And that way, if my units route, I can set them on fire at will and they can take care of it. Um, I'm going to send them around this way. Guard the flank. What do we got over here? Oh, that's that cab unit. Where is this artillery? Are they moving it? Oh, they're sneaky. Uh, I just feel bad for my computer. I'm sorry I'm putting you through this, but there's just so many Frenchmen. Who is that? Oh, is that an artillery piece? Nice. Nice little slow-mo battle of the melee. Like they got some chasseurs. We've broken one French. All right, let's put it back into play. I forgot. You two will be a reserve. For, well, it looks like you're gonna get there first. So you run. You guys will be the reserve. We'll just fire a volley and then hold fire move up the next line and so on and so forth there we go they're moving their artillery that way all right some of the frenchmen are falling back now there's wavering going on in the ranks they have been pro impressively solid this whole time though until this point so they are brave. I will give them that. Oh man, and there's lots of them. We're just gonna back away and let it play out. Alright, we'll also need to pay attention to where their reinforcements, their endless wave of reinforcements comes from. Oh. Morale is weakening. Oh, they countercharged over here. You're not gonna. Yeah. Your light infantry isn't gonna fare well against my foot guards. Alright. Guard mode, come on now. Let's, uh, don't fire yet. Oh, we have our mass route. Alright, time to seal the deal. Some tasty charges. You guys hold fire. You guys hold fire. You guys run them down. All right. Well, we survived an initial wave. This one you can join with these three. This should, a lot of these troops should shatter and they'll all run off the map pretty much at the same time. So, I think we will end up with a lot of, oh, don't do that. Um, oh, we do have some cavalry killing their own, very nice. We can't support our troops here. Keep you guys chasing after them. Like we broke that. You can stop with the square. All right, you guys both halt and then you can fire at will. 
The grenadiers will chase them off the map. Alright, there's going to be a little lull, so I'll make it cut. Oh, ouch. I need to take care of that artillery. Oh, there's some right there we can take care of. You three, keep advancing. Alright, we're going to take a, a little cut while we chase down some artillery. But... I'll make sure and come back for more action, which is inevitable. The next wave. All right, the next wave of attacks is coming in, but I am not waiting for it. I identify where they, the majority of the reinforcements are arriving from. It's this side. I'm going ahead and pushing out. I am getting attacked by a lot of artillery, so that's kind of the reason for being aggressive instead of passive. As if I wait, I will simply get bombarded to death with all these artillery pieces. So I figure embrace my inner aggressive tactician and go on the advance. Look at all these abandoned artillery pieces we have forced them back from. They did manage to shatter this Norwegian militia that I had uh, sent out to try and capture the guns and they charged it with cavalry so they uh, those those Norwegians fought very very bravely and for a very long time I'm going to get this into two groups of three. Oh, maybe a group of three and a group of two. Oh hello you're getting hit by a lot of artillery and it is quite annoying because I don't have any cav to deal with it how are we doing fresh very tired mr. very tired you get that one and mr. fresh you get that one oh that one right there hopefully those two will deal with that flank and we can keep moving on these guys. They have lots of cavalry. Wow, they're really flanking around. Let me go ahead and shift my own defenses. Why don't you just get on the wall? Whatever. There we go. And you guys can go around the back side. But yeah, we're about halfway through the main battle, so... So far, the first wave was defeated with massive French casualties, as you can see. Uh, there's a whole string of bodies to the pile here with a few of my grenadiers. This grenadier, man, where is it? This one. That was fighting in the melee right out there. And then he chased down all the way out to here, held off a few cavalry charges. So, I'm... I'm curious to see how many kills he has by the end. All right. Looks like we have taken care of these French artillery pieces. That is good news because they were a nuisance. Maybe these guys can relax for a little bit as we send the rest forward. Oh, oh, that's not good. Getting charged. Buy some calf. Quite annoying. Alright. Rush. Come on now. Meanwhile, we'll send these ones. How are you feeling? Fresh? Fresh. Alright. Uh, let's get you like that. Oh, she got 311. Uh, I don't know if I can solo that large of a... I don't like that placement. It's because you're just going to try and shoot those guys and hit your own troops instead. What we're going to do is get our reserves here on this flank. You guys can open fire then. There we go. Oh, they are getting fired into. Nice and militia. But if I can see off those guys... Uh, 
Alright, there we go. Go like that and that. These guys can keep moving on the flank. They're charging into the fray, but it kills their own troops. So, all right, on the double now. We need to get a battle line going. Square has held on, now it can fall back. You guys can go there. Oh, helps to put him on fire at will. That was my bad. Former reserve unit. These guys towards the artillery, which is being very annoying at the very edge of the map. There's that new smoke going at it. Oh boy, they are pushing this flank. These poor grenadiers who have seen so much combat already are a little bit isolated. And these guys are not forming up. What the heck is going on now? All right, fall back. Don't let them outflank you. You guys are exhausted. You need a break. All right. A little fish hook formation is working. They are winning right there. That's not what we like to see. But let's fix it. These guys will just be losing for a little while. Oh man, they're applying a lot of pressure over here. You gonna fire? Oh yeah, you're reloading. These are mostly my elites though, so maybe I can get some good attacking done. All right, saw off a unit there. Keep them coming. We're gonna need to reform this. So this flank is in the air. Yeah, exposed flank. That that will damage morale a lot. What are you doing? Just shoot them. Don't reform like that. Oh gosh. These guys also have them in the flank in the air though. Reform is going all right, but I think with our new flanking units, yeah, and force them into our little right angle now. Might not be the best formation because if they hit, oops, I hit the mic. If they hit this corner hard enough, it will be. Bad. Oh. He had a group of militia get all the way up there. Wow. That's why you leave a garrison, folks. And they're, for some reason, running their artillery right towards our troops. I don't know what they hope to accomplish. Because, yeah, that'll just happen. But I'm not complaining. I will take any break I can get. All right. There's a lot of broken troops there. We're gonna, well, maybe not two of them. Just do one guy like that. 
And then these two keep applying pressure, keep driving them that way. You guys get freaked out by those charging artillery. Don't shoot the artillery. You can't kill it. It's a weird bug. All right, we just have a quarter of the time left. I feel comfortable. I have a couple units here, but I really don't think they're going to be able to do much. I will keep an eye on that, though, because... Oh, got some Frenchmen on the flank. They're losing numbers fast, so hopefully won't be an issue. Broke that militia. All right, looks like I'm gonna need to do that. are shooting down the calf. Oh, here comes another charge. You don't have the numbers for it, so I guess it makes sense. Oh, come on. Shoot right there. I can get this one to route, man. It make everything so much easier. These guys, though, they're shaking, but what are they? Foot, oh, line infantry, that's why. Militia, militia. Because if I can get to the source of their reinforcements, that will definitely hinder. I know you guys are still real tired, but no rest. Into the fray you must go. Alright, you guys go there, there, and prepare to fire. Wow, okay, this is a very cool battle, but there's a lot going on. Alright, on the double. Let's keep applying the pressure. Let's see if we can't. we're almost done with the time so that would be nice yeah look at that smoky battlefield well I've noticed when you have such a big battle the smoke goes away it doesn't fade out nicely like it does when I have a little bit of a more normal, typical battle size. But that's okay. Still looks good, I think. Overall. I think it's just hitting the maximum number of instances of that smoke that it can render. I think I can bump that up, though. Anyways. Alright, we're finally... Hitting their reinforcements good as they appear. Yes, no, 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 no. Don't shoot there. Right there. Yeah. They're wavering. You guys just have to hold on, even or winning. That's your goal. Oh. Let's see if we can get a shot off before they get to us. Maybe. Especially if they run sideways. Back on the main battlefield. Oh, looks like we drove off that one.
What do we got? A bunch of militia. This is Getsy, but... I think if I can... Get enough of them. Take some losses initially, but if I can get some good melee kills, break their morale, we will get a lot more kills overall. Alright. You guys got them? Good. Time to flank these guys. You line up right there on the... All right, there we go. They're crumbling. Uh-oh. Another unit is appearing. Come on, come on, come on. Yikes. Shoot them, just shoot them. I don't care where or how or when. Just start firing. No, no, no. That's not how you do it. Ugh. Alright, alright. Get in the fray. You guys almost ready to start firing. Oh, we're lagging now. Come on. Fire away. Just shoot. There we go. We got some fire over here. Good start. All right. Are we on time? Two minutes left. All right. Think we will we'll be fine. I think we will have won the day, but pay it a price, although not nearly as heavy a price as they have paid. Oh, we are losing morale here. All right, form you a nice little square. You fall, oh, fall back to the hill. Actually, you too. All back. At this point, it's just killing as many and surviving as long as possible. That one could still rally. These guys. Oh, you just gotta hold on for a minute and 48 seconds. Basically, two minutes. But. Yikes, you're not gonna make it. I'm sorry guys, I abandoned you. But there's nothing for it at this point. Exhausted, those are winded, so we'll march the exhausted because they don't really go any faster running when they're exhausted. Okay, well, that is probably the large, one of the largest and bloodiest battles I've ever fought. Just like, I lost quite a bit, but nothing compared to the French. And we still have 35 seconds. Let's get these guys to... Get a volley. Wait, here we go. Well, that wasn't very climactic. It's kind of anticlimactic. Oh, and there it was, the good one. All right. Well, we held off. 
by the skin of our teeth. And suffered some fairly heavy losses, but inflicted many more. And there it is. The day ends with us still in command of the fort. Oh man, they had 26,332 troops against our 4,200. And they lost 13, so they lost half, almost exactly, of their troops, because they have 13. They lost a little bit more than half. Wow. Wow. All right, let's see. Grenadiers, lifeguard of foot. Okay, they did good. Where's the grenadiers that lost like 100? Yeah, they killed 700 and lost 96. That's pretty good. These guys killed 800 and lost 12, so. Yeah, just impressive battle. And that's probably where we'll end it. Oh, we killed one army. Watch them all retreat. Now it'll let me get some artillery and reinforcements to that fort. So that'll be good. I think this is where we'll end it, guys, though. So if you liked it, go ahead and hit the like and consider subscribing if you aren't. And hopefully the documentary will be out in the next week or so. No promises, though. Just I don't know how my time will be, how much time I'll have to do it. So anyways, hope you guys have a great one. I'll see you next time. Bye.